Here are some notes on congenital adrenal hyperplasia. We're going to talk about three of them. In the background here, you could see steroid metabolism. Instead of memorizing all of this, you can remember these three um, diseases that we're going to talk about. The first one, most common, 21 hydroxylase deficiency. It's also called classic congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Patients will have low levels of mineral corticoids, they'll have low levels of glucocorticoids, and high levels of androgens. Signs and symptoms include salt wasting, which is vomiting, hypotension, low sodium, high potassium in the blood, and ambiguous genitalia in girls from that high androgen level. Next, 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency. Here they'll have high mineral corticoids, they'll have low glucocorticoids, and they'll have high androgens again. Signs and symptoms are hypertension, low potassium and ambiguous genitalia in girls, again, because of the high androgens. Lastly, 17 alpha hydroxylase deficiency. Here, babies will have high mineral corticoid levels, high glucocorticoid levels, and low androgens. So the signs and symptoms here will be ambiguous genitalia in boys because of the low androgen levels. Um, they might not go through puberty. Patients will also have hypertension and low potassium.